Oh, hey guys, it's Sam here. Sorry, I haven't been making videos in a while. I was on summer break and now school started and I'm bored, so <laughs> my friend Elizabeth is over. She's laughing in the background and if the camera quality isn't as good, you guys know why. <laughs> Elizabeth, say hi. Hi. <laughs> She's been in my other videos, but she doesn't want to show herself. Anyway, this is an everyday makeup look for school. So first, zoom in. <clears throat> We were laughing too hard, okay. Are you zoomed in? Okay, I'm gonna be using my NYX um, eyeshadow base. And it just looks like this. And you're gonna prime your eyes. You can use any primer, but I'm using this one. Make sure it's all rubbed in. You can do it under here as well, so your eyeliner doesn't come off. Now, I just got this palette, so I have the 88 Original Coastal Scents um, palette, and I absolutely love it, and I've been using it like nonstop. I just tried out a new look today, which I'll be showing you for school, because I like it. This is what it looks like. You got that, Elizabeth? Okay. And we're going to start off with the light brown, which is this color right here. Good. Okay. And you could just use any eyeshadow brush. I'm using MAC 275. Just looks like that. You're going to place it on the base of your eyes. I mean, all over your eyelid. <laughs> See, I can't talk to it. We will blend this in. Now, I need to use, because I got some over in the corner, so just always have a cotton bowl with you. Make your life easier. And now I am going to be using a darker brown, which is this one at the bottom here. Move it over a little bit. Or is it good? Is it good? Okay. And a, just an Ulta eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to place that in my crease area. Now you need to blend it out because it looks really dark. So just use any eyeshadow brush and just blend it out. Soften it up a little bit. Okay, that looks good. And now, yeah, that's it for the eyeshadow. <laughs> now I'm going to use eyeliner. Any eyeliner is fine. I am using the Avon Glimmer Stick Diamonds G07 Black Ice. Just looks like this. And it's one of those like roll up ones because they're easier for me. And I'll just do a swatch. It broke as it. It comes out very dark, so be careful if you get this one. You know someone from Avon and, or whatever. <laughs> I have to look down because the mirror is here. Just put myself in the eye. <laughs> Now you need a Q-tip to sponge off any mistakes that you made.
And now you're gonna curl your eyelashes with any curler, eyelash curler. I am using the Revlon one, just like that. Hold it there for like three seconds. And now for mascara, I am using the CoverGirl Lash Blash, Blash Blast Volume Waterproof, and this is in the color Very Black. It just looks like this, and the applicator, or wand, people call it. Looks like this. Be careful, because it's very, like, gumpy. Is that the right word? That's my housewoman in the background, sorry. I only put on a little mascara. I'm not like a big mascara person. I'm not one of those girls who wear like a lot. Does it say how long the video is? How long? Five minutes? Six minutes? Okay. I just got it in my hand. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go work on our face. So zoom out. Zoomed out? Okay. And I am going to be using a new product that I want and I'm absolutely loving it so far. It's the Sephora Foundation Compact Powder for Foundation. I seriously can't tell. In Clair Light. It just looks like this on the outside. It's the back. When you open it, this is the color. And then has a mirror <laughs> and this sponge is like in that little thing. And you're going to place this gump in my eye and mascara all over. Forehead, nose, <laughs> and chin. And any pimples, this works very good because I have like a really big one there. Has it been going away? <laughs> I don't know why, but I know it really works to cover it up. Now I'm going to take this uh, Ulta blush brush and just like smooth it out. And now I am going to be putting on my Sephora bronzing powder, which looks like this. And this is in the color Bora Bora. I think I'm pronouncing that right. And again, I really like this product. It has a little bit of shimmer to it, which I love shimmer stuff. Ask Elizabeth, she'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> and I am just going to place it. This goes on before the blush. <laughs> Just to give you a little color. Okay, so that's it. I don't use too much of that because these products, this for it's very expensive, and yeah. So now I'm gonna be using my MAC blush in the color Dante. And it's pink, and again, it has shimmer in it. Just a little bit, not too much. And I'm going to be using an the same Avon brush, blush brush. You're gonna place it on your cheeks. <laughs> so, sorry for laughing too much, Elizabeth's making me laugh. No, you can't really see. 
see what she's doing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and if you want to put lip gloss on, which I don't have any lip gloss, which is really unorganized of me, it's downstairs. You can, and this is the finishing look. Zoom, zoom in one more time. Zoom out. Now, thanks for watching, and I hope you find this look amazing. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks.